Hello and welcome back to another episode of War Tales Challenges. My name is Heiken and today we're looking into the question Can you beat a massive, massive army with just a few? So we're reenacting 300 and the way that we did it is there is a mechanic in War Tales uh, where the party size is determined by your own party size, how, uh, size however uh, the party size is not immediately going to be reduced. So if you have a massive party, then you shrink it down. You will still fight as many enemies as you would fight if you had a larger party. And today we shrunk down our party size from a whooping 50 all the way down to 8. So we do have one of each class and Roby, the bear companion. That is 8 versus 50. So. Uh, join me today when we're answering the question, is it possible to fight against higher level enemies uh, with uh, one of each class? Good, we're starting in the worst kind of terrain imaginable because we're in the open and just to kind of put it into perspective, we have those few uh, placement points and we got a full contingent up here. 67 enemies holy a full contingent over here full contingent over there and a full contingent over there um, if a unit ends uh, engage in combat they execute an attack of opportunity well wonderful that's great and lawful favor uh, damage dealt to units with attacks of opportunity is increased by 25 percent and they uh, deal um, and they deal confused as a status well isn't that lovely so i guess what we're going to do is we're trying our very very dearest uh, to uh, overload one side and uh, basically survive right there going to make a stand over here Roby is going to tank that side swordsman is going to tank that side brood is going to take that uh, tank that side and this is going to be fun Four, 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 four. Well, there ain't, ain't any great options of doing this. Might take the lower side here. Problem is this guy might have, yep, measured response. We don't want that. Thank you. Um, so, does this guy have measured response? No, it doesn't, uh, which means we might uh, take those four. All right, let's go. Pull them in. Includes the captain, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, he's just a, a seasoned veteran. And we are actually moving to here. That is the captain. Fantastic. Good. That uh, already blew their morale a little bit. Cool. Well, that's just the start. We're going to go through a lot of enemies. And all we can do is hold tight. This is, of course, worst possible start. Getting engaged on a ranged damage dealer. But killing uh, those enemies was well worth it. Need to get the archer away from here. Okay, we need to find choke points. Wait, there is another contingent? Holy, okay. There are apparently five contingents. Good, I think I need to get the bear down here to close the ranks.
But before we do that, I would like to politely disen uh, disengage. Then put orderly in because we need a lot, a lot of uh, Valor points. And how about we're hitting all of these guys? That's a good one. Getting another lieutenant. Nicely down. Very good. Hitting this lieutenant and effectively killing him. He just doesn't know that he's dead yet. Um, we're moving to the center where the bear can essentially tank. All right, lots of enemy turns. We're still having 61 enemies. And by the way, in case you're wondering, no, I don't have legendary equipment. It's just the same few guys with uh, with interesting or well-designed builds that I have had beforehand. I'll showcase uh, the I'll showcase uh, the equipment in a second. They're clustering up, which is good. I wonder if uh, something like Overwatch zones would have been a good idea. Just a different, just a different build. Good. So let's take a look at the equipment real quick, so you can see all of that. Just normal crafting the equipment. We're level twelve, right? None of it legendary. Just bare basic equipment. And a bear, of course. Oh, the bear isn't even controlled. Yeah, I gave away uh, my beast master. Well, I suppose Roby will just do what Roby does. Uh, that's fine by me. In terms of just standing here, how about we're pushing you away? destabilizing you and anyone who attacks the brood will uh, take damage from the spearman and the spearman in return uh, will also prevent the first two from coming in from the south I need a bit of a tighter formation we are, we are too far apart at this point. Good news is that first pack over here, it's almost looking like we got them down. But let's not get overly confident at this point. Moving to here, actually to here, and we're taking away their ability to see anything. That's a kill, and another one. We're accessing the back line here. Just getting those damage dealers first.
good. This lieutenant might be a problem, so we're going to wiggle him down. Um, hmm. Do I really want to spend the point, uh, the Vela points? Do I really want to spend the points? Uh, we're going to wait with orderly for a future round. Look, I think we can go with it, just dish out a little bit of damage, and we're disengaging for some more damage. It's not that great but we made a sizable impact good enough we're going to withdraw behind our bear roby can tank that which means we need the swordsman to disengage or maybe position over here just to close the ranks these guys will come in next turn and they will hurt. And we need to find a way to deal with uh, the counterattacks in melee. As long as we're getting uh, the damage dealers uh, away first, everything should be fine. This guy doesn't even have measured uh, response, so we should be good. Disengage for a nice little attack. Hit him, get into combat with him, and we got re uh, repost going. Uh, that still leaves a bit of an opening. I think we're better off like this. And we got a cure bleeding. Oh, it's just crazy amounts of damage. More enemies are coming. We're down to 54. Still standing in our little be uh, bastion of glory here. Luckily for us, since we haven't moved, we could engage like one of these uh, battalions first and then now um, hopefully per turn another battalion will come in. Not sure yet, but we're going to find out. What I am sure about is we need to kill the damage dealers, specifically those who can deal AoE damage. Healing the bleed, what's important. <laughs> Good lord. Trying to position myself in a way that the enemy can't really multi attack, and as long as no archer has a multi bow. We should be fine. I do have a lot of spearmen though, so that's a problem. So many enemies. Why did I kill enemies and we're still at 52? Good. Disengage. Hit. Fair enough. Counter hit, disengage, hit. Fair enough. Keep it going. Engage, disengage, hit. Engage. Disengage. Ah, we're getting hit. Well, I think we're okay. Uh, we're standing strong over here. 
I will stand adjacent because then the spearman can actually does, uh, wield his magic and start hitting every, uh, everyone. We are like the Rome, uh, Roman Empire uh, shield turtles, where you are sound and secure in all directions and can't really be flanked. The only problem is, even the Romans didn't fight in a 10 to 1 numbers uh, outnumbering disadvantage. All right, Roby does what he's supposed to, which is starting to tank, which is good. Yeah, the technician uh, technicians need to die. Two of them are there. Okay. Good, one down. Second one down. I think we're okay. Does anyone need healing? Sure, frontline gets a little bit healing, that's fine. Enemy starts moving in. We need to be really, really mindful about uh, the order. Of our uh, of our soldiers and we got to close that one left flank. There is uh, fortunately for us this uh, little barricade here where they can either go around the side or through here. Again, luckily for us, Spearman is doing his job and keeping the front line safe and secure. Spearman could move to here, keep these guys back. That's not a bad idea. Warrior. Uh, we do have more technicians uh, down there. That's a problem. Could just delete those three. I think we're just going to do that. Does he have retaliation? Yes, he does, and I don't want to take that measure's response. This is not enough damage. Nah, no, 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 we're not pulling them closer. We good. Need to put the tank over here. Got a swordsman that could just fulfill that job. Spearman is doing phenomenally well there. 
think I'll just leave him be. On the other hand, the bear will take... will have a bit more problems going forward. Just too many enemies coming in. Yeah, we can use the spearmen last. I don't see a reason right now to do that. Um, Pugilist actually could do a couple of good moves. That's one tank gone. Just straight up deleted. And that is another one heavily injured. So as a tank killer, no, not even injured. Gone. That's two tanks uh, gone right there. Yeah, not bad. I like it. Took advantage of the engagement. And uh, as long as we can use the Pugilist in order to take out these hard targets, we're good. We're still down uh, to 44 enemies. Not sure if we can withstand that onslaught. Bear is certainly getting attacked yet again. There's no shortage of heavy armored full guard enemies coming in. But with the right builds, you are capable of uh, dishing out a lot of damage. And I will have to wonder... Let's disengage here so that this guy engages. And we're good. That'll trigger a text of opportunity back. I love it. His position is very, very nice between both of the tanks and he does have uh, his own little spear wall in front of him. Basically just uh, picking away uh, enemies Bear still takes damage, but Bear will heal, so we're okay. Plus, we can heal the Bear, so it's actually going to be okay. Just need to use uh, some first aid. Good. All of these guys get blackout. Nice. Well poisoned. I like it. Continuing to hit him. I should go for the easier targets. That was stupid. Spent way too much time on finishing him. But it's okay, we're... And we haven't used a lot. Good. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, two or three kills and we're back in business. Moving all the way back there.
What if the enemies are coming through that southern corridor and the only tank there is our bear? So need to get our spear wall up and another tank to there. Very soon the right hand side is going to fall so there isn't much happening really. Very good. Look, we're going to heal the bear as a matter of principle. Engaging, disengaging, we're taking a little bit of damage. I don't like that, but it's okay. We are still fine. Really gotta be careful with that retaliation. And we are standing right there. I think that's a great position for us to tank. Maybe even a little... No, I think we're actually fine. Gotta deal with that, uh, with these uh, tacticians next turn. They're going to be a real threat. Good hit. Disengage. Re-engage. Let's weaken him first. There we go. Another one down. Both of these guys do have that stupid retaliation going. Okay, cool. That's as good as it gets. We are full Valor again. Wow, this here is a nice that's a nice AoE. Imagine playing a poison rogue and just completely throwing poison onto all of them. Oh boy, that would be oh, that's the dream. I think nonetheless we're just going to weaken them substantially. Look at that. Everybody here is blackouted. Moving straight through them. Going for their backline. I don't want to deal with technician uh, technicians. that's four of them down do we have enough uh, power left in the tank I think we do actually ah, that was a mistake
All right, we're good. I thought at least we were good. Uh, they are just ignoring our front line. That's not good. We need to clock that entrance. Heal up. Hit this guy and kill him. I don't uh, appreciate him being in our back line. And we are standing ready to engage whoever is going to come down. Interesting, I thought you could never really walk further in the spear wall. I just learned that that is not the case. I heard rumors about the spear wall being sometimes bugged. Um, I think we need to close uh, this side down. Good, and that should be just enough in order to prevent anyone from uh, going through here. Of course, they could come from the north, but that really doesn't uh, mean anything. Plus, most of them cannot even see, thanks to Blackout, a great uh, ability in larger uh, combat. Good. We... are going to go in and I think what we're going to do is we're just setting up this zone over here That way, no one will be able to get into our back. Sure, also healed with first aid. Never forget that. We're down to 32. Half of them are dead, but our armor is almost gone, so... And we've used a lot of our cooldowns already. No retaliation, no retaliation, retaliation, but should die in the first instance. I think it's not going to get much better than that, really.
More damage from behind. I like it. Make sure that bleeding uh, is being stopped. And we're good. That's five kills. Beautiful. Alright, the majority of their force is now over here. And they're still trying to get into our flank, I can see it. Heal the ranger. Listen. Sometimes the easy kills uh, or the simple kills are the good ones. Let's go for Lone Wolf. More damage. And we're moving back. The bear is still standing. I like it. And with our spearmen supporting him, I think this is going to be a very, very good flank. Unfortunately, up here, another problem rears its ugly head. Let's get another one of these defenders down, whilst they cannot fight back. Like I said, sometimes the easy kills or the clean ones, the basic ones, are the nicest. Doesn't take long until Roby gets uh, approached yet again. But luckily, we do have a lot of counter attacks. Definitely need to take out that northern flank. We're down to 24 enemies. We might be able to pull this off. Alright, uh, time to deal with these guys, shall we? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Blackout, thank you. One kill. And another one. And another one. And another one. Very good. And even more damage. I think I've used every single skill available to me. So it's not going to be much better, uh, not going to get much better than that. A northern flank, formerly a 
pillar of their strength is now merely a shadow of its former glory. Let's make sure that these guys are not going to see the light of the day again. That stupid defender it just dies there. Cool. The central front line has now uh, started uh, to battle it out and this spearman here is just doing God's work. MVP for positioning. destabilizes then heals his body uh, body continues to target everything there and we're good a bear with a spearman support who would have known the new meta Very nice. Cannot really complain about that outcome, can we? We're positioning ourselves right here. And the bear, since he always takes, uh, has so many hit points and uh, takes first aid, is just tanking forever. That is hilarious. Good, they've given up uh, the uh, top side. We, on the other hand, are going to kill yet another tank. Tank Buster. <laughs> oh boy, that Spearman. Such a trickster. And continues to attack. I have never seen so many um, retaliatory attacks ever. Disengage for another hit. Okay, I see how it is. You know what? I don't want to waste our armor. All you have to do is just stand there for now. Don't even need to do a lot of damage. No retaliation. They do have retaliation, no retaliation, okay. Nah, I can't go back afterwards. Does he have retaliation? Yeah. Never mind. That being said, We 
could act right at the beginning of the next turn. You know what? F it. Sure. Why not? Uh, one of them. No, none of them actually do have retaliatory attacks. Wonderful. Come here. Good, look at uh, five kills. Can't really complain. Uh, the executioner is still absolutely smashing it. No matter where I'm positioning him, he's always absolutely on point. So we're going to make sure that these guys are having no fun whatsoever. Defender here is uh, retaliating. Okay, perfect. Then range attacks it is. Bit of poison. Bit of healing. And I think we're okay. That was good enough. Kill two, disabled three, healed on top of it, dealt some nice little poisoning. Okay, we're 8 versus 7, and the numbers advantage is finally gone, and we're dwindling them down. The last remaining enemies. I think I've never had such a disadvantageous fight. And based on just how bad the fight was, I actually think we did quite well. Oh, finally, the Falling Soldier wanted to uh, retaliate against the guy who's always annoyingly standing in the back. Fair enough. Well, I can tell you what. That just costed you your life. Nice little hits. Unfortunately, not a kill yet. There we go. Finally, galvanizing. No retaliation, no retaliation. Okay, I'll eat these guys for breakfast. We go. Ah, too bad. A little bit unlucky with the attacks of opportunity.
and for the first time in a long while Roby uh, could actually start to move all right it has been a while 50 minutes log but we killed 44 bodies is not correct it was definitely more than that it was definitely much much more than that got a couple of nice helmets and the rest is pretty much meh gotta repair everybody and we're good look that's it that's all i got for today thank you so much for watching i will shortly post uh, the builds in case you're interested we got a destroyer brute we had a tank swordsman with my special two-hand weapon tanking we got an executioner warrior uh, that has uh, killed potentially the most enemies we had a spearman with uh, the fervent support which worked out ultra well we had a pugilist that was just very very good as a bruiser uh, tank buster is how i would uh, call that build we got a ranger in the assassin build and we got a nice little archer with a hunter build plus a non-controlled um, bear roby here uh, level 14 bear with an infused color that's really it a very basic equipment but good builds and good strategy and i hope that showcase just the power of the builds thanks a lot for watching and enjoy the rest of your day bye bye